New details tonight in the death of a Jacksonville woman. Her body found in the front yard of her Arlington home. All new at 11. We're hearing from the victim's ex-boyfriend. He says they had a son together and their son had recently moved in with her. I haven't been able to talk to him. There's some things going on with that. I don't know why he's not. I don't see him. So now I'm going to have to find out. Did he live here? Yes. Yes, he did live with her. Friends and family tell us the woman killed was 68-year-old Gail Clark. Police say Clark appears to have been killed sometime between 6 and 10 this morning, and it appears she died from blunt force trauma. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenia is joining us live from Cessary Boulevard, where the police have been investigating this homicide all day. Eric, police were there late into the night. Yes, they were. They were here all day. And you know what? Here's the reality of it all. You know, anytime you see one of these Crime Stopper uh, signs planted somewhere, you know something horrific has happened. And what horrific has happened, happened here on Cessary Boulevard, right here in front of the victim's home. In fact, if we can pan the camera down right here, you'll see this is where uh, we believe the, uh, the, uh, the body of the victim uh, was located here in front of the home. Uh, it has been a very tough day for a lot of family members. I would say about a little more than an hour ago, uh, we saw a group of family members and friends. They were all gathering here. No one was happy. They all want to know why did this happen? While we don't know why 68 year old Gail Clark was killed, we know she died from what police describe as blunt force trauma. Police also say they found kitchen utensils near her bloodied body that was discovered in front of her Arlington home. We spoke with her ex-boyfriend who says he was shocked when he learned she had been killed. All of this is a big surprise to us, unexpected. No one knew of her having any kind of enemies or, or having any kind of beef with anybody. I just don't understand why. And neither do detectives this early in the investigation. Police say they were speaking with her daughter who last spoke with her mother this morning. The victim's ex-boyfriend says he and Clark had a son together and their son recently moved in with her, but the move was not permanent. So it wasn't like 100% in or 100% out. It was just to keep an eye on my mom. When Terry Clark arrived on scene, he says he was looking for his son. I haven't been able to talk to him. And it's unclear if police have been in contact with him. In the meantime, neighbors we are not identifying are both frightened by what happened and saddened about losing a neighbor in such a violent manner. I'm shocked, really, that a neighbor, uh, that a murder could happen so close by. This is our quiet little neighborhood. Not much of anything goes on here, so mostly I'm surprised. Again, if anyone has information about what happened, even if you heard something between uh, 6 o'clock in the morning and 10 a.m., you are strongly urged to contact Crime Stoppers. Uh, they, in investigators definitely want to find the person who was responsible for this horrific crime. Reporting live in Arlington, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.